My dear brothers, we live in a world of superlatives. We want to become richest, greatest, highest, longest and tallest and so on and so forth. So we call it as EST syndrome or superlative syndrome. Some time of your life you also must have thought to be richest, to be greatest, to be tallest, to be highest, est, est, est. But today you are before the law in this holy place to surrender yourselves, to deny yourselves before the Lord, to give up everything before the Lord. And the call is to take up the cross. Take up my cross and come and follow me. What a contradiction or what a contrast, what a paradigm shift. And if the world sees you and sees us, they will tell us that you are fools. You are fools. You are leaving behind everything. And coming and following Christ. And that to, to carry his cross, to take up his cross. On another line, all of you, at one time or the other of your life, you must have thought that I would like to become a doctor, engineer, architect, or a driver, or a sports star, or so actor, or so on and so forth. But somehow, at some time, at some moment, all their ambitions, all their aspirations have gone away, and you have said yes to the Lord. And you are here before this place, in this place, in this holy place, to give up everything behind and to follow the one who has come. It is not because that you are perfect, you are here in this holy place. It is not because that you are the most ideal person to be a capuchin or to be a priest in the church or in the order that you are here. But you have believed in the one who has called you. You have loved in the one who has called you. And you have fallen in love with the one who has chosen you and who is going to consecrate you. And for that purpose, for that dream of yours that you are here. And if I ask you the question, why are you here? The answer would be, and I'm sure that is the answer in your heart, in your mind, in your life. It's all for Christ. Why am I here? All for Christ. And that is the question I spoke to you some time back and that should take us always forward. That should accompany us always. That should make us to rise up. Or that should awaken us every moment of our life. And for that you are here. All for Christ. And your journey is a continual journey. You may not have found the answers. You may not have realized in and through your own life in the post lengthy or in the novitiate. But this journey is begun. This journey has become part and parcel of your life and of your answer and of your yes. And today what you are going to pronounce, 
These are not mere words. What you are going to say before the Lord is not mere a voice. It is not mere a sound. Let it be an inner voice of your conscience. Yes, I have come before the Lord to follow Him who has called me, who has chosen me and who is going to consecrate me. Let these words become an inner voice and let it get formed like a flesh. Let it have blood and let there be spirit in that. And let it take a form of life. Form of life. A form of life to follow the gospel in poverty, in obedience and in chastity. Let it become a living reality of yourself and of your consecration before the Lord, the one who is poor, humble and crucified, the one who calls you, come and follow me, take up the cross, deny yourself. What does it profit to gain the whole world? Follow me. Dear brothers, the reality of your inner voice when you go and live concretely day after day will not be so rosy, will not be so beautiful, will not be so nice. Today it will be nice to pronounce them from your heart. But when you live them concretely, there will be situations where you are, how fast do we say, you are confronted with poverty, with obedience, with chastity. There will be lots of temptations. There will be a lot of evil. There will be a lot of desire. There will be a lot of indifference. There will be a lot of ego. But then how will you live all that you have pronounced today before the Lord? All that you have vowed before the Lord? There comes the test of your life. There comes a test of your vows and of your love, life and of your commitment. How do I respond? Even when it becomes difficult, even when it becomes heavy, even when it becomes burdensome, there comes, come and follow me. Take up your cross. The way you respond, the way you obey, the way you live, will radiate all that you are going to pronounce today. That's why Pope Francis calls each one of us, each religious, all that you have chosen, for all that you have said, yes, let it become a joyful adventure. Joyful adventure. Even if it is difficult, let it become a joyful adventure that you have taken up with all yourself. From that inner voice and face it joyfully. Respond it joyfully. Let it become an adventure of every day.
slowly day by day you'll grow to you'll know heaven's glory if you want your dream you to want be your dream, build it slow and surely small beginning a greater end heartfelt work grows purely if you want to live life free take your time go slowly do few things but do them well simple joys are simple joys are holy day by day stone by stone build your secret slowly day by day you'll grow to you'll know heaven's glory Oh